Jesus' name. I pray for all those who have indicated that they want to move out of the natural birth into the new birth. They want to move away from the earthly kingdom to the eternal kingdom. I pray, Lord, according to your promise, forgive them in Jesus' name. Cleanse their hearts now and transfer them and translate them to the kingdom of your only begotten son. And let that change and transformation, that new life and new character be for them now visible, known in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name, I pray. It is done. I said, it is done. Keep on standing and you will give response to the counselors who are there. We want our overseer to take over now as we do this thoroughly and yet briefly. Then I'll come back. He forgives all your sins. He will heal all your diseases. Congratulations in your birth you have received tonight. Praise the Lord. That decision you have taken is the best decision one can ever take in life. Our counselors are everywhere. We want you to, around you, keep standing. They will attend to you. They will give you a piece of paper. Kindly fill the request or the requirement information correctly and return the slip to them. They will also give you a special package from the convener of the GCK. God bless you. Counselors, go everywhere at the gallery up, down, hall one, hall two, hall three. At the up, make sure you take proper address, proper information. Help them to feel, those who are finding it difficult to feel the information. Guide them. And once you are through with the feeling, return the sleep to them. Don't forget, they will give you a special package from the convener tonight. Counselor, take note of that. They are properly filled. The names are properly filled. If possible, with telephone numbers. This is to help you in your new fit. You have taken a good decision tonight. That's a wonderful decision. You have come into the kingdom of God. Great is that decision you have taken. You are part of the new birth in Christ. You are part of the people who have come into the kingdom of God. If you are watching online and you gave your life to Christ after the pastor's message this evening, there is a link, GCK or so connect below your prayer, below your player. Click it and fill the form so we can assist you further in your new work with Christ. Fill it online, fill all the proper information that is to be guided. Click to that player and fill the form. This is to assist you in that new decision you have taken. Radio and television audience also, this is very important for you. As you are listening via radio, television, you just gave your life to Christ, send your name, send your telephone number, your location address, via SMS or WhatsApp number plus 
I read again. Fill your telephone number, your name, your telephone number, and your location. This is for those on television and, tele and radio. Via SNS or WhatsApp to this number plus two three four nine one five four 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 nine two six three celebrate your new work with Christ. We celebrate that you have given your life to Christ. If you are watching online, this is a critical moment. We want to follow up with you. We want to we want you to learn more. We want to motivate you more. We want to work with you in this your new walk of life. This is your new decision to walk with Jesus. All you have to do is go online, gckhq.org forward slash connect. Go there and fill your details. There are men of God who will be there to follow up with you. Please don't forget, this is a critical time. If you are finding it difficult to visit the website, you can put in the comment section that you need counseling. And right there, uh, right there, right now, your uh, details will be captured and we are going to follow up with you. If you are also listening on radio and television, don't forget a phone number has been called. Right now, you need to make a call, WhatsApp or SMS, that phone number. This is critical because we want to follow up with you. I'll call that phone number again as we have done previously. 9, plus 234-91-5444-9263. Plus 234-91-5444-9263. This is a very critical moment. If you are following us on radio and you are listening in the com comfort of your home on television, you have to phone this number so that we can follow up with you. Uh, we have leaders, we have great men of God who will follow up with you, make calls with you, and encourage you in this your new work with, with God. We are going to connect you now back to the Alpha location so that you can listen. The, the, there is a miracle prayer coming up by the convener, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumi. Please don't miss it. That final prayer is a prayer that you would use to... done online please it's going to be great and God is going to bless you there will be there will also be special fiscal banquet for those who gave their lives to Christ from all fiscal location in your groups in your regions in your states in your nation on Sunday, 4th of June, as we have it at the Alpha location here, this one applied to all physical converts in our respective states, regions, nations, and all groups. Make sure that is done and details will be communicated to you. Please, let's make sure we comply to this this will help us to stand in all our faith and be grounded in the faith. While we are still doing that, counselors at the Alpha location, make sure you guide the people, fill all the details in all the hall at the gallery, hall one, hall two, down floor here. Make sure you get all the details and collect the slip back from the people. Praise the Lord. Are you through Hall 1? Any other person from Hall? At the gallery, you are true. On my left hand side, all is true. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Tonight is going to be a special night. I didn't hear amen. As we are joining our brethren celebrating their new birth, Equally, we believe that as the man of God very soon is coming to minister to us with the celebration we are celebrating, great things the Lord has done for these two years. 
And tonight, yours is going to be additional. I didn't hear amen. Are you ready? Very soon, the man of God is coming. Right there at the Alpha location. And here at the Alpha location and all other places. Let's make sure that everyone is key into it and we are ready for the miracle that is coming from the man of God and be ready to receive your blessing and be a part of the people who are going to celebrate. Thank you. God bless you. As we wait for the man of God, rise up on your feet, preparing for the coming of the man of God. Rise up and prepare your heart. Your miracle. My miracle awaiting me. Now, once we pray to the Heavenly Father, He always answers. He will answer for you tonight. And then at the end of the final amen, you check up yourself and you do what you couldn't do before. You'll find our God is there right by your side yeah. are you ready for the miracle yeah. ready for the healing yeah. raise up the hand and lift the other hand where the challenge is father we thank you tonight we bless your name we know with you all things are possible you have promised us you will transfer everyone out of the kingdom of darkness, kingdom of disease, kingdom of sickness, kingdom of infirmity, and you will translate everyone to the kingdom of health, of healing, of deliverance, of power, of newness of life. Lord, do as you have said. Touch everyone now. The blind, the dumb, the deaf, the lame, the one having paralysis, having stroke, having cancer, having tuberculosis, having any problem, any disease. Touch Heal everyone now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It is done. In Jesus' name, I pray. It is done. God has touched you healed you, delivered you. What you do now, you do what you were not able to do before. You are healed. I am healed. I am healed. All right, do what you were not able to do before. I am healed. Tonight, the Lord has touched your life. Check up, check up. That sickness is gone. It's gone, it's gone, it's gone. The Lord has done it tonight. It's going to be a night of celebration. Celebration night. Because the hand of the Lord has healed, has delivered you. Make sure you share your testimony tonight. Make sure you are part of the people that will celebrate a night of celebration. A night of celebration. Don't go, don't go. If you go, you are not going to join us in the celebration. Join us and celebrate. It's going to be a great night. If you have testimony, can you come to the other side? Come out, come out. I'm sure God has done something new in your life tonight. The man of God has released 
the anointing and it has healed it has delivered come out come out those who have testimony come out here our brethren are there to attend to you and you are going to share your testimony we are going to celebrate the good things the lord has done in your life tonight we are waiting for you while the orchestra give us a song as they are coming out we're expecting you are coming out come out come out come out the power of God has been released and we are sure that it has been confirmed it is done it is done orchestra give us a song and all over all over the world every nation every state every region all the continent rise up as we join us celebrating as we are celebrating rise up and sing wherever you are it's celebration time everywhere rise up and join us at the alpha location we are celebrating the good things the lord has done for these two years and what the lord has done tonight god has done something Brethren with testimony, come out, come out. It's wonderful. It's a night of celebration. Join us at the Alpha location as we are really celebrating the two years and anniversary. celebration night everywhere rise up in your region in your state in your nation in your continent anywhere every part of the world join us and celebrate the goodness of the Lord great things the Lord has done wonderful things the Lord has done for these two years to encourage all our brethren at the other locations regions states nations join us whenever the testimonies is being shared rejoice with us be happy with us here at the upper location and once the orchestra are singing rise up in our various places it's time for celebration we're listening to first testifier now Samuel Aku, a medical doctor, I will be co-anchoring the testimony for tonight. By my side is uh, Mr. Festus Eguabo, who had an injury when he woke up and developed a problem at his lower spinal column, which um, he went to the hospital, was diagnosed there was a crack, a kind of fracture, and he has received several treatments to no avail. And the doctors themselves have given us hope. And so we resorted to praying. When this program came in the month of November, uh, the power that never fails, he believed God. And God performed the supernatural. Praise the Lord. He will tell you by himself. Praise the Lord. By the grace of God, I'm a professor to Seguebo 
from triumphant group of this street, Yanya region, and born again by the grace of God. Sometimes last year, 2022, around the month of June, I began to experience some pains at my waist. And uh, I managed it from that June to August when I was forced to go to the hospital. So when I got to the hospital, the doctor asked me for, to go for an X-ray. I went there. There they found out that uh, there is a kind of crack on my spinal cord. And not only that, that my muscles are also contracting. So I, he gave me some medications. Some people asked me to go to Igbo Lagos. Others asked me to go to Daula in Kano. But I look at the expenses, the cost, I just depended on God. Every crusade, I look up to God until that of November, when the man of God mentioned my case specifically. But before then, a pastor told me that at the appointed time, God will deliver me and heal me. So I believed God, and I come to look up to him. On that very crusade, the GS mentioned my case as it was then spinal cord injury and muscle contraction and since then i began to experience and for the month of december january i began to experience some changes before when i sit down to get up it will take me about 10 minutes and when I, can, I cannot walk for five minutes without looking for a place to rest so i began to experience changes that i cannot walk freely i cannot sit down freely and even when i sleep i wake up in the morning to go and ease myself, I find it very easy. So I can now walk, I can now bend, those things that I have not been able to do before. As a result of the prayer of the man of God, God has delivered me, I can now do those things. So if you are here tonight, you have been praying unto God for a particular thing. I want to believe that your time has not passed. At that appointed time, God will do it for you in Jesus' name. I thank God for our Father in the Lord, whom God has used. May God continue to strengthen him more and more in Jesus' name. It's the Lord. What medical science could not do, our God is able to do. He has done it for our brother, and he will do it for you too. He has done it for many. That's why we are celebrating. We have every cause to celebrate the goodness of the Lord. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Before we give chance for another testimony at the Alpha location, please listen to this. If you have received your miracle, please share your testimony with us via the WhatsApp. WhatsApp number being displaced or this morning line on the screen, you can also record a video of your testimony and share with us via WhatsApp and then the telephone. Thank you as you do that. Very, very important. We're we'll listening to the next testifier. Praise the Lord. The next testifier is Chidima Mwabusi Caroline, a diabetic. For more than 10 years, he has been on drugs. At a point, he went unconscious and was admitted in that unconscious state for nine days at Federal Medical Center at Jabi. But God brought her back. Praise the Lord. And she was placed on daily injection and some tablets for type 2 diabetes. But some time ago, when he listened to GS at the GCK, from that day on, God touched her. She has never used the drug nor the injection for many months now, and she's healthy. She has proved it by test. Praise the Lord. Sister, tell them yourself. Praise the Lord! I want to thank God tonight for what God has done for me. 
It was past 10 years. I've been suffering from diabetes. I've done everything. I've battled with it. And at a time, the last five years, I was unconscious. The whole of my body collapsed. I was rushed to Federal Medical Center, almost lifeless. I didn't know I would survive. My husband lost hope. Everybody was praying in my region. My region rally ran. They stood by my husband. They stood by us. Financially, they supported. And prayer, they supported. And after nine days, God revived me. And it was still that, since that time, I was placed on daily drugs and injection every night. Since that five years ago, I've been doing that. And this injection and the drugs is taking almost everything they are paying me in my pension allowance. And this thing was, you know, affecting my family. But I thank God for my lovely, caring husband. He stood by me. He did everything for me. Even that time, I cannot even walk. I can't do anything by myself. For almost one year, I did not go to church because I cannot walk. I can't do anything. And God sustained my life until this last GCK, April, the glorious visitation. In my district there, at Kubua region, 2-1 district in hospitality group, I was in my district when prayer was going on. Before that prayer, Jesus, when he was ministering, he said, that sickness that has been in your life is not your property. Jesus will take it away tonight and we throw it away. And I said, Amen. And when Jesus was preaching, praying, he said again, he said, that diabetes that have been troubling you, that have been making you to be frequenting all the night to urinate, that one will stop this night, it will go away, it will disappear. I said, Amen. I was holding on that. Then Jesus continued praying. As he was praying, I was touched. I felt some touch in my body, and I felt it, I noticed it. I said, hi, God, something has happened in my life. Something has happened in my life. I said, God, something has taken place in my life. I knew it, and I was praying. I said, God, confirm it, confirm it, because something touched me. As I was, you know, the orchestra was singing, my spirit was sailing me, stand up and dance, stand up and dance. Something has happened to you, stand up and dance. And I stood up and I started dancing. As I was dancing, a sister by my left touched me, say, Ma, I, I forgot to, to tell you the dream I had of you. I saw you in a very large congregation giving testimony. And it was our state overseer that was calling for that testimony, but I didn't know what we are actually doing. I said, oh, the testimony is here. I believed God that night. I went home joyfully singing because inside me I know that something has taken place. I went home and throughout that night I did not urinate like that. Then the following day I ate a, a big plate of rice which I cannot eat before. I didn't take my drug. I didn't take that injection in the night. After the program that night I tested my this was normal. I carried the rice again, I ate that night. And the following day, and I didn't take that injection after eating the rice. That is what I cannot do since five years. I cannot just eat rice and sleep. It can now happen. And I tested in the morning, the thing was normal. And I waited without drug, without anything, the sixth day before I went to revival service. I tested again, the thing was normal. In fact, I want to thank God because I've been believing God for this healing for over 10 years. And God did not forget me that day, just in my district, all the way from Ghana. The touch of God came upon me. I was touched and I felt it. And when I tested all these three times, everything was normal. I say, may the name of God be glorified for what he did for me. If you are there, you have been waiting on the Lord for something. Don't lose hope. God is there. Our God is there. He cannot fail you. He will not disappoint you. He will visit you as he visited me. And I want to thank God for this GCK. I've been waiting for this healing for a long time. God promised me he will heal me. It has not happened. But it was during this GCK that God gloriously visited me. I say may his name be glorified in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord.
That's why we have every cause to celebrate. Her life was almost gone, but just this month that have just passed, April, her life has been restored through the prayer of the man of God. And we have so many testimonies of what the Lord has done since the existence of GCK. The orchestra, let's rejoice. Rejoice, praise the name of the Lord. Rise up, rise up, and rejoice. It's celebration time. testimony The power of God is moving as we have great testimonies that we're receiving. And let's bring you some of the testimonies we're receiving now to the glory of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Praise the Lino crusade ye, that is your Thursday, Lalonte Bere, Yanuna Yemi. Also, we bear Aburo Milele, a big Ben Yamini. Attack Lato Dorun, Latte five years. Sanyene, Subatic in Abati Desi, your master, you be about the dross in your drossy, if I thought to why Yata to Angi, or why is it back or less or more? Lati Lati January by ye, Coracoles or Tabas or see your own one, old boss Boko Soros, you are. We must say why be Lord your Thursday by ye. We must say pay Lord damn alone. But why lost it? We must say lost it. Ni or your Thursday ye. But why work by boy at all? Me Jerry. But why did you be for it, Daddy? Oki ni ya tuwa fek pa dege. Mo sofa long pe alone mi fe. Ogu an se pata pata ni mo fe na ye mi fe le to se to to pada. We must say dela no ni ye. We baba se badura. Mo soro si mo sofa ko soro. And it's all be wa wa bos e ni ke a jam alone le money mi lo ibi ni ma drosi on ti to ba soro kinto le lo. Be as a debit of us to see by you only clothed or what did you want it? Clothed and what else to see me one toy best or only, but the monster of your toe, damn me low. But look, go along, last year, no, you see, I don't sorrow, I don't serenity. Put your hands together for Christ. Last year, no, you see, I don't sorrow, I don't really. I want me to go along to repair along Camille, Morita, Miss Enu, who said, Yimmy Wallace, praise the Lord. Abamiki, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, do Pala Walla, and may I be gay, Latin Ludolphin. You know, so ye more read it back. Tim Bien, your bang women, me, or you ask about Nipaku, who go join you. Near lay, near Nitibabas, Tiasia, and me, Adura. Mowari, and when you're Timmy Odi, Tio Jabi, Colocolo, you may get be Barbara Bojuena. It didn't know why you're not going to be here, hallelujah. At it all, you're going to be here, you're More testimonies as we now take you to Lagos, Nigeria, where the GCK studio has some social media message. It's been a night of celebration. A lot of testimonies here and there, especially on social. It's been a night on Facebook, on YouTube. 
YouTube, on Zoom, on Telegram. We've seen testimonies and the great things God is doing. I'll just tell you one testimony right here on YouTube. But I want you, if you're watching us on YouTube, you're watching us on Facebook, I want to encourage you right now. We want to hear and listen to those great things God has done. Put there on the comment section, tell us your testimony. Testimony and share your testimonies so that we can record it and the whole world can celebrate with you. I have this testimony from uh, Mary Nifemi and she has said on YouTube that um, I've been ill of food poisoning. I've been uh, severe diarrhea since yesterday, but during the message, I placed my hand on my stomach and declared peace. Also, while the uh, pastor was praying, I placed my hand on my stomach and all the rumbling in my stomach has stopped. Praise the Lord. This is a great testimony we have seen on YouTube. I want to use this to encourage everyone on Facebook, on YouTube, and even on radio and television listening to us. Please don't forget, we want to listen to the great things God has done for you. And right now, we return to our Abuja studios uh, for this testimony session. Bye for now. Now to the moderating of us here. Praise the Lord! Everyone says celebration night. God has done marvelous and great things in these two years of GCK. We listen to the testimony at the Alpha location here. in 2012 and for 10 years there was no conception. She has a testimony to share. Praise the Lord. My name is Godwin. My name is uh, Margaret Godwin. I married 2012. No issue. By the grace of God, divine solution for Papa Grant. For the Papa Grant, God answered me. Praise the Lord. This is my divine solution. Praise the if you are clapping, clap to the glory of the Lord. Clap your hands to the glory of the Lord. Celebration. Everyone say celebration. The Lord did marvelous, great, and mighty things. The next testifier. Franklin, she has a testimony. Praise the Lord. My name is Uwetu Franklin Obadiah. I'm worship at Asokoro District of Asokoro Group in Abuja region of the FCT. By God's grace, I'm saved. For as long as I can remember, I've had issues with my ear. And these issues have led to migraines, ear infections, and fevers. And the migraines got progressively worse, so I had to be prescribed some medications to at least reduce their severity. I've been to the doctor multiple times for the ear infections and for the fevers, but whenever the doctor would examine my ear, he would never see anything wrong with it. He would always say, just stop pouring water. Don't allow water to enter it. But I'd never prayed about my ear because honestly, I never knew that any of these issues were related to my ear. But I know that the servant of God prays for all of us before any global crusade. And the Lord answered his prayers for me through the power that never fails crusade in November 2022. The, the crusade ended on the 29th of November. And during the crusade, there were many testimonies about healings of the ear. On the 30th of November, the day after the ending of the crusade, when I was at home, my ear began to itch, so I raised my hand to itch it. And as I barely touched it, something fell out. And when I picked it up, I saw that it was a cotton swab with the cotton and part of the rod still intact. And at that time, I had not used a cotton swab in months. And according to my mom, I've had this ear issue since I was in primary school. And now, six months after it fell out, I've not had any issue of migraines. I've not had to take my migraine medication 
I've not had any ear infection. Keep on clapping to the glory of the Lord. Keep on clapping. Keep on clapping. Clap to the glory of the Lord. Migraine headache has gone. And what the medical doctor could not see in her, Dr. Jesus saw it and removed it through the GCK. Amen. Amen. Clap your hands to the Lord. Keep on clapping, keep on clapping, keep on clapping. Rejoice unto the Lord. They call orchestra. Orchestra. Testifier at the upper location here. The next testifier is Friday Manuel and Antonio. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. My name is Brother Friday, Ikoya in Osorowai Tuti. I'm from Matema Group, Abuja Region, FCT. By the grace of God, tonight I want to really bless the name of the Lord for what the Lord did in my life. It all started in March, March 2020, during the COVID. I suddenly, I developed a chronic cough. I was thinking that it was a normal cough, maybe as a result of cold. But this time around, the cough persisted. I resorted to self-medication. But the more I do it, I discovered that after some time, it subsided. Uh, subsided. But from chronic cough, it migrated to high blood pressure. This period, I could hardly sleep. I could hardly walk. If I, there was a particular day, it was as if I was passing out. If I, my children, my wife, all of them, everybody was crying, they were distraught. Then my wife encouraged me that I need to visit the hospital. Eventually, I landed at the Matema Hospital. And there and there, the uh, test was, a series of tests were carried out. And by the time the test result came out, they were all positive. But the consulting doctors was not comfortable about that. But they recommended me for X-ray. And from the airstream, when the results eventually came out, it happened to be that I was diagnosed with a large heart, that my, large is, my heart is enlarged. I was trying to find out the solution from the consulting doctor. She told me from there that no solution, that I'm going to be placed on medication till the rest of my life. Praise the Lord. But I believe in the God of Pastor W.F. Kumwe. Praise the Lord. Then I brought the test result, I mean the X-ray result. In one of the GCK program, total liberation, while after the uh, administration of the man of God, I lifted up the test result, and I told God with faith in my heart that but as the man of God prayed, that after this prayer, I'm going to receive my healing. And I lifted up that X-ray result, and after the prayer of the man of God, we are asked to check ourselves, and there was no way I could share because I didn't know that miracle has taken place until at the time I went to sleep. And by the grace of God for the first time, that very day, no medication, I slept like a newborn baby. Praise the name of the Lord. 
And by the grace of God, from there to the glory of God, my, I am He. Everything has returned to normal to the glory of God. I give the glory of the Lord to our Father in the Lord. May the name of the Lord be glorified in Jesus' name. And I pray that the grace of God will continue to multiply upon this life. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The problem of enlarged heart taken away through GCK of laboratory. Thank God we are in the month of laboratory of GCK for two years. And I'm sure that whatever your problem is gone. I didn't hear amen. As the Lord has done it for our brother, he has done it for many, thousands, millions. Here at the Alpha location, we have so many testimonies, and equally in all other places, we have so many testimonies that the Lord did during this crusade. The next testifier. Praise the Lord. The next testifier is Oluwa Toyi Udubi. She is testifying of the restoration of the mystery. Sister, you can tell the world. Praise the Lord. My name is Oluwatoyi Odivri. By the grace of God, I am saved. I'm from Kubwa region, Biaji Group Shelter Farm District. I want to bless the name of the Lord. 2021, I had a miscarriage and they booked me for evacuation. So I went, I went for the evacuation. After the evacuation, the doctor gave me six weeks. That after six weeks, I'll start seeing my menstrual flow. But six weeks come and gone, no menstrual flow. One month, two months, up to a year. Instead of the menstrual flow to come out, it will result to pain. I'll be feeling pain every month that the menstrual flow is supposed to come out. They prescribe drugs, I bought series of drugs, expensive drugs, but all to no avail. So I believed in God. I told my husband we started praying. So the GCK of December last year, GCK stroke retreat. The last day of the GCK, I was at home. I didn't go for the program. So we connected at home. When after administration, our papa was praying. He said we should lay our hands upon where we have the challenge. So I put my hands upon my head. But the spirit was telling me that, is that the place you had the challenge? Why can't you put your hand? So I immediately I removed my hand from my head. I put it on my abdomen. Baba prayed. After the prayer, I believed God. Brethren, that I've been enjoying the glory of the Lord in my life. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Our God is good. Let's return to online testimonies. We have the power of God happening as we are also celebrating online. This testimony is a testimony, a striking one of 20 years deafness and the healing happened by the power of Jesus. My name is Adamu Gani Atfulani from Alaro village. I've been deaf for over 20 years ago now. And I was invited to a crusade held at a Bayesa State in Shaki region area. There, after the prayer, Pastor Kumuyi prayed, and after the prayer, I could hear something went out of, of my ear. Boom! And I immediately I can hear everything audibly. Praise the Lord. 
eti mama o ti di o le ogun odon mhm se n gbo yoruba ogun odun 20 years 20 ati ba tu yo ti ni ti di ti won ogun re keke mhm ngba ti baba kun yin ti n wa su eti wa si ni ti n gboro bayi dada Global Crusade with Komui. The next one, six years paralysis disappeared. Urukomini <laughs> Padirira. Tell me, we are living in a different world. My name is Fadera. I live in Onukefani, Irewole, Shaki Oyo State. For the past six years now, I I was unable to work on myself. They they were carrying me uh, here and there, but I had last month I had of my uh, crusade, which was to take place at Bayesa State by um, Pastor Kumuyi. And they, um, our pastor brought um, satellites to my house, so I watched. Money <laughs> I make a Tiba Baba wa Kumoi Timo Shetting one as I make a Timoni Ame on the third day. Had the last amen on that third day. Of God, the final amen that I said. Money, eh? Amen. 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 The final And on YouTube, Adito Elizabeth wrote, Hallelujah, I have received a miracle tonight. To God be the glory. We have this other one also on YouTube from Veronica Kenneth. Wrote, Thank you, Jesus, for my healing. May his name be glorified. And also on YouTube, we have this testimony coming from Mary Nefem says, I've been healed of food poisoning, been having severe diarrhea since yesterday. But since the message, during the message, I placed my hand on my stomach. I declared peace. And after the pastor's prayer, total healing took place. To God be the glory. And finally, before we return, to the moderating overseer. This one is from Adeze Ude. She wrote, I received my miracle of God. God has remembered me. Praise the Lord. It's back to the moderating overseer. Praise the Lord. The testimonies are great and there are so many. The orchestra. celebrating everyone join in the celebration rise up and join all over everywhere you are rise up joy, joy. 
every nation, every state, every region. Joy, joy, hope, flow in my heart. Joy, 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 in my heart. I am joy, 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 joy. Bible told us in the Philippians chapter 4, verse 4, Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Joy will not finish for your mouth. Amen. Celebration continue in Jesus' name. The next testifier from the Alpha location. The next testifier is Mr. Humphrey Okafor, who had a double miracle of healing from peptic ulcer and arthritis. Give your testimony. Praise the Lord. My name is Bro Humphrey Okafo. I want to thank God for what he had done for me. And that was during uh, Mina Crusade, uh, GCK. I was privileged to be in the Alpha location. I was among the team that went from Abuja to assist uh, Mina Brethren. So during the ministerial conference, uh, we were there also, and uh, that was, uh, I think, the second day, uh, doing that heavy rain pour. While we are there, the man of God ministered on, uh, you know, uh, power of uh, biblical prayer and fasting, the benefits. So after uh, such an apostolic teaching and explanation, and the part fasting plays in our life development and faith, I was moved. I had this ulcer for more than 15 years now. In fact, I hardly fast um, maybe 3 p.m., highest 2 p.m., I'm done. So I prayed. I also remember a series of testimony from other locations, how God healed people with ulcer. I said, here am I, am I, I am in the Alpha location, face to face with servant of God. I can't go back with this. So I prayed. After that ministration, I had a faith that I had been healed. So what I did was, when I came back, uh, that was a few months, uh, just a few days after I came back, I said, let me test this healing. Then I had some series of fasting. After the fasting, I didn't feel any pain of ulcer. And then, and then, after then, one day, my wife was um, going for a medical test. I just, okay, after some months, I said, okay, let me go and confirm. And when I got there, there was no trace of ulcer. That was gone. Praise the Lord. The second testimony was during the Togo Crusade. Very, very uh, simple one. I've been having some pains, my knees and some of my toes and all that. So I went to the pharmacy. I asked for what I could do, maybe hot something they can give me so I can take care of it. It was so painful. They started packing all the drugs. I said, I don't need I just need a balm. They said, OK, they don't have that. Then that day, we got home. I was asking my wife, where do I get such balm? He said, uh, maybe somewhere. Then uh, luckily, we went to the um, crusade. I didn't go to my district then. I went to a district near me. Then after the prayer, the man of God said, uh, lay your hand where you have the pro uh, your problem. So I, I wasn't, it's like I didn't hear very well. Something I said to me, didn't you hear that command? And I, uh, my leg, I can't lift my leg because of the pain. I managed to place it on the uh, chair I was sitting. Then after the prayer, I just got home. I was striking to the car. I was still feeling the pain. There wasn't any sign. But in the morning before I got out for work, 
I just, something say, have you checked yourself? I twisted my leg, freed my leg, did every exercise. The pain was gone and gone forever. Praise the Lord. The pain was gone and gone forever. Ossa of 15 years disappeared. That's what the Lord has done through this GCK. We have every cause to rejoice and celebrate the orchestra before we round up the prayer. Orchestra, rise up and let's sing to the glory of God. Everyone, everywhere, rise up as the orchestra will give us this song. And everywhere, all over, we should join in this great thing the Lord has done. We are celebrating. feet and praise the name of the Lord. Let's celebrate. Let's thank God for great things the Lord has done. For two years since the existence of GCK, many have been healed, many have been delivered, sicknesses that the doctor, medical sciences could not discover. Our Lord Jesus Christ healed and set all those people free. Let's praise the name of the Lord, magnify the name of the Lord. Let us give God the glory for great things he has done through the GCK. God is great. God is wonderful. He has used our Father in the Lord tremendously, abundantly. He has restored hope to the hopeless. Impossible became possible. The sicknesses that you never could tell that such sicknesses be healed by the power of God through the man of God. Our general superintendent has healed and is all over the world. All over the world. In Jesus' name we pray. A bigger amen. Father, we thank you. We cannot thank you too much for great things you have done through the GCK. Two years back now, we have experienced great and tremendous things. The sick have been healed. You have used our Father in the Lord that has turned impossibility to become possible. Accept all our praises in Jesus' name. We are asking, Lord, keep him strong. Keep him healthy. Thank you because we know you have answered. More of your revelation. Fresh anointing. Be rest upon him in Jesus' name. And all other ministers of the gospel, our fathers from the states, from the nations, Lord, we pray. Your hand will continue to rest upon them. The media workers and all those who are contributing, to the success of the GCK. Lord, we pray 
your strength and grace will continue to be upon them in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. And amen. God bless you. Good day. We have witnessed the reenactment of great messages by the convener of GCK, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui. We have witnessed live miracles, including the delivery of a miracle baby on day two by Jesus the Liberator. All these are a foretaste of what's coming. And now, for the new thing coming, Super Liberation Sunday at GCK Second Year Celebrations. There will be a super message on Sunday evening. You will hear what you have never heard before as God's servant, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui, will be ministering on the power of praising God for his mighty deeds. Tell everyone everywhere to be there, live, physically in your location, and online across the globe. This Sunday service, May 28th, 2023, will be extraordinary. Be there. Don't be told. It's that time of the month again. It's Jessica O'Clock. In Mark chapter 16 and 16, Jesus said, Go ye into all the world and preach gospel to every creature. We're bringing the gospel to every creature. Mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers. Jesus the Savior, there is no another. Salvation from yonder, since chains break us under. Yeah. Salvation is free, you need to pray. All of the chains you will roll away. Oh, 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 hey, Jesus. Salvation is free, you need to pray. All of the shame she will roll away. Are you bothered and you don't know what to do? And you feel like everything is wrong with you. Don't you give up when you look up. There's an answer to all your questions. We bring you the gospel, it's for every nation. Oh, Jesus. is for you to need to pay for you might have feel there is grace to pay hey, oh, oh, oh. there is healing deliverance freedom from hoods of satan oh Yes, you bring your case. Come on, everybody, take your place. Come and experience for me saving grace. No matter your color, no matter your race. Mama, papa, they come. Uoke, why in the ya? Mutu, mata, so, oh. Baba, ya, ewa. Salvation is free, you don't need to pay. All of the shame is in the way. Oh, 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 yeah. There is healing, deliverance, freedom from hopes of Satan, the gospel to every creature. GCK, gospel to every creature.
children help those who are weak forgetting in nothing is blessing to seek we wait on the orchestra to lead us in the tune to 
receive grace to live a holy life in Jesus' name. I will be having our search the scriptures. I want to believe the children, uh, the children will have to go to their class. Every other person stays in the sanctuary. Heavenly Father, we are grateful unto you. We thank you, Lord, for this morning. Thank you, Lord, for your grace that has brought us here. Thank you, Lord, for how, Lord, you started with us, Lord, in fellowship. Receive our praise and honor in Jesus' name. Lord, we ask, O oh God, as we learn of you, O oh God, this morning, we pray that, Lord, your word will have an impact in our lives. We have the, the desired Lord, to, to bear the desired fruit of God in our lives and our hearts in Jesus' name. Bless everyone this morning. Thank you because we know you've answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's good to be in the house of God again. And I know God is here. I feel it. And I know he has started blessing us already. And I pray that his blessings will be full in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, before we go into the third scripture for today, I want to know if anyone uh, can share with us from last week's learning. Said scripture last week, what you gained. Update the topic and what you gained. Can be just one thing. You gained. By the time we have one, two, three, then we have, yes, Sister Jaffe, thank you. Oh, Mike. who we find you, we have to seek deep into God to be able to find you. And I also realize that as Christians, our marriage, everything we do should be according to the will of God. And marriage is for life. There's no divorce. There's no remarriage. It's only before the person can, before they are joined together, maybe when they're in courtship, that's when the person can talk about um, that, well, okay, this person is uh, unfaithful and leave the person. Once they get married, is the dead do them part. And I pray that God will help us. We never have any reason to divorce in our homes in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you so much for sharing with us. Uh, yes, marriage and family, marriage and the family life of Christians. And we are reminded that we have to go with God through the journey of marriage from commencement, uh, courtship, and uh, that's all through the stages of marriage, commencement, that's uh, from commencement of it, how you have to approach it, how you need to hear from God before even entering and uh, proposing. And also the church rules regarding it, although I did not cover, but at least we, Alida talked about uh, courtship, engagement, and uh, also the ceremony in everything, every step of the way, you need to allow God to lead you and you to walk carefully in under God's uh, leading. Also the family life. Marriage is very, very important, instituted by God. It's honorable in all and the bed on the file. So we need to allow God to lead us and walk in the Lord, walk in the way of the Lord. And God will bless you, bless your marriage and family life in Jesus name. Amen. Yes, this morning we are continuing with uh, our walk with God. Remember last week, my family life of Christians, Christians, but I also have marriage, marriages, but Christians, that of uh, the marriage of Christians is, is different because it is for better, for worse, you are in and it is for life, not like you marry and, uh, and divorce. For the worldly people, 
maybe they go into a two-year contract, five-year contract, and they say they are done. That is it. From beginning, they plan it that way, but that is not for Christians. God will help us in Jesus' name. So conditions for fellowshipping with God. That is what we have this morning. Conditions for fellowshipping with God. We're going to take a mem- uh, text from the book of we take our text from the book of Psalm chapter 14, verses 1 to 7. So as someone prepares to read for us, let's recite the memory verse together from the book of Psalm chapter 14, verse 2. If you find the text, you want to read for us, Psalm chapter 14, verses 1 to 7. So let's recite the memory verse, chapter 14, verse 2. The Lord looks down from heaven upon the children of men, to see if there were any that did understand and seek God. Let's say, after the count of two, one to go. The Lord looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and seek God. Psalm chapter 14, verse two. So someone read for us, Psalm chapter 14, verses one to seven. As we come up to read, uh, I want to remind us that God created man in his own image as Genesis chapter 1, verse 27, 28 tells us. He created man in his own image, male and female created he them. And in verse 31, God looked at everything and he said it was good. Everything that he made were good. Praise the Lord. Psalm 14, verses 1 to 7. The fool had said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. The Lord looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and seek God. They are all gone aside. They are all together become filthy. There is none that doeth good. No, not one. Of all the workers of iniquity no knowledge, who eat up my people as they eat bread and call not upon the Lord. There were they in great fear, for God is in the generation of the righteous. Ye have shamed the counsel of the poor, because the Lord is his refuge. Verse 7. Oh, that the salvation of Israel will come out of Zion when the Lord bringeth back the captivity of his people, Jacob shall rejoice and Israel shall be glad. Amen. Praise the Lord. The purpose why God created man is to have fellowship with man. And he did it with Adam and Eve in verse eight of Genesis chapter three. It says, and they heard the voice of the Lord walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord, of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. So the purpose is to have fellowship. He came in the cool of the day to have fellowship with Adam and his wife. And that is the purpose why God created you. He wants to have fellowship with you. And uh, the, as we study, reflect upon your life and see the level the